Hello everyone and welcome to our new section which is called 3. With this lecture we begin a brand new section in which you will learn everything about trees and different types of trees. In this section you will get a deep knowledge about trees which includes creating trees based on Python list and linked list and performing various operations like creation, insertion, deleting and searching on tree data structures. Now in the first lecture let's see what's a tree. So let's get started. By definition, a tree is non-linear data structure with hierarchical relationship between its elements without having any cycle. It's basically reverse form of a real tree. So what does it mean? So let's see it in a real life example. As other data structures, we use tree data structures in our daily lives. Let's see where we are using it in our daily life. So as an example, let's say that we are in cafe and we want to order a drink. So we open the menu and see that we have two options over here. So we can order two types of drinks, hot drinks and cold drinks. Now again, within these options, we have multiple subcategories over here. So if we want to order hot drinks, we have two options over here, tea or coffee. Similarly, if we want to order cold drinks, we have two options over here, are alcoholic or non-alcoholic. So if we go one step further, we see that in case of tea, we have two options, black tea and green tea. But if we want to order coffee, we have three options over here, which are Americano, Latte or Cappuccino. And in case of cold drinks, if we go for alcoholic drinks, we have two options, beer and wine. And similarly, for non-alcoholic drinks, we have three options, cola, Fanta and soda. So here we see that drinks in cafe's menu have been ordered in a nice hierarchy which makes it easier for customers to choose. So here, they might not aware that they are using a tree data structure, but this way of organizing the data in the cafe menu makes it easier for customers and owner as well. Now in the world of data structure, this is called tree data structures. As you see, without being aware of tree data structure, we are using a tree data structure in our daily lives. So the diagram that we see over here represents a typical tree data structures in a computer science. Now let's see what are the common properties and observations from this diagram over here. Now the first property in this diagram is it's used to represent data in hierarchical form. It means that every time when we go one step down, it becomes more specialized form of its parent. So for example, if we are coming from hot drinks one step down, we see that tea is a type of hot drink and it's, it's a specific type. Similarly, if we go one step down from non-alcoholic drinks over here, we see that soda is type of non-alcoholic drinks and it's a specific type. So this means that every time when we go one step further, we are doing a specialization. In other words, we are maintaining a hierarchical form. Now let's see the next property, which is every node has two components. That's a data and the reference to its subcategory. So let's see what it means. So let's say if we consider drink type as a node, here we see that it has a data. In this case, it's a hot drink. And it also has a reference to its subcategory, which means that it also stores the address of subcategories. And in this case, it stores the address of tea and coffee subnodes over here. So similarly, if we examine the cold drinks, we see that it stores cold drinks as a data and it has a reference to alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. So it stores the physical location of these subnodes over here. Now let's continue to the next property, which is third property. So the third property is that at the top, we have a base category and then we have a subcategories under this category. In case of typical tree, we have as many as subcategories under one category. There is not any limit within this. So these are the properties that can be driven from this diagram over here. And now let's see three data structure properties. And it's not surprise that we have the same properties for the three data structures that we have over here. So the first property of three data structure is that it's used to represent a data in hierarchical form. So this is the same as the first property of the diagram that we explained. So the next property is that in every node, we have two components which are data and reference to subnodes, which is similar to the second property of the diagram that we explained here. And finally, the last property of three data structure is it has root node and under root node, we have subnodes, 
and this is similar to the last property of the diagram over here now here we have seen the properties of tree data structures and we see that it resembles the real tree data model from real life so in case of computer science a tree data structure looks like this and let's see that if these properties fit this tree data structure over here so this is our tree data structure which has a root of n1 and then we have subsequent nodes now if we closely examine this tree we can see that the data that is represented in this tree is hierarchical order so we have a top node which is n1 at the top then we have n2 and n3 as a sub nodes and then if we go one step further we see that we have n4 n5 and n6 so this shows that the data is in hierarchical order so the first property is satisfied then we can easily see that every node has two components in it one is data and another is reference to the subsequent nodes so in case of n1 we have n1 as a data in this node and we have references from n1 to n2 and from n1 to n3 which means that n1 stores the physical location of n2 and n3 and similarly if we go to n2 we see that n2 has a data in it and it has a reference to n4 and n5 this means that it stores the physical location of n4 and n5 over here so this means that the property of each node has a two components is satisfied over here now let's continue to the last property so here we can easily see that n1 is a root node and it is the first node in the tree then it has a subsequent nodes under it which are n2 and n3 then it continues that under n3 we have n6 and under n2 we have n4 and n5 then under n4 we have n7 and n8 which shows that each node has subsequent nodes under them so these are the old properties of three data structures so with this we have concluded our lecture over here so in this lecture we have learned what's the three data structures and what are the properties of it and we have given a real life example which explains the three data structures very clearly so hopefully here you have understood what's the three data structures and what are the properties of it now in the next lecture let's see why we need a three data structures in computer science so see you in the next lecture